Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Abby. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day, a great week. This is my latest haul, which is all from the Lorna Lux collection with In The Style. Now, I absolutely love Lorna Lux. I followed her for ages on Instagram. I've always been a really big fan of her, like her fashion, her outfits, and all of her previous collections. But unfortunately, this one for me, it's it's just not been great at all. I spent nearly £900 on this haul and expected to keep at least half of it. But as you'll see with the try on clips, and when I talk you through everything, it's actually only maybe two or three pieces that I will actually be adding to my wardrobe. The first piece I'll talk about is this pink dress. This is one of the pieces that I think I may keep. You'll see in the try on clips, uh, it's got really beautiful kind of balloon sleeves and they're elasticated. So you can put them up and wear it like with a shorter sleeve. It's a really nice style. It's a really nice cut. I'm wearing the pink one in a size four and it is perfect for me. I got the same dress in a kind of beigey off-white colour and I got this in a six just so I could compare the sizes and it was far too loose on me, especially kind of round the chest. I just didn't feel comfortable at all. So definitely be keeping the pink one, but this obviously one was too big and I wasn't a huge fan of the colour. It's maybe just a wee bit washed out for me, but the pink is a really nice bright bold colour. So I think this will be great for summer. Now, before I start showing you everything else, I want to talk about the reason that I've been so disappointed with this kind of haul. The main thing for me has been the fit. So the dress I'm going to show you here, the band obviously where your boobs sit is, it's this big. Honestly, I, I don't know anyone who would be able to fit their boobs into that section. Now I have got some different sizes of dresses. So this one is a four, which is what I usually am. I'm usually a four, sometimes a six. I think for me to actually get into that dress properly, I would probably have had to size up to a 10 or a 12, which is just crazy. I just, I don't understand at all. I'll try and show you here. So the band there, obviously to go across your chest was just far, far too small for me. And I'm not big chested at all. So that is the, my main kind of complaint about this collection. Apart from the fit, I wasn't overly in love with this dress. It has got the nice kind of floaty cut for spring and summer, which is nice. Didn't quite understand the sleeves. They're almost a kind of sheer mesh, kind of ruffled at the sides. Just wasn't really my thing. And I didn't really feel like the sleeves matched with the rest of the dress. This top is a nice bright colour got kind of elasticated parts on the arms which was nice it wasn't a great fit again for me again across the chest it this one is a size four and I really don't know what size I would have needed to make it fit to be honest you'll see in the try on clips the proportions for me were just all wrong this dress is one of the pieces that I was really excited for I had high high hopes as you'll see in the clip it's shorter at the front longer at the back I really liked the print. I thought it was really, really pretty. But for me, the material is just not great. It's, it's quite hard. And I feel like it will be quite almost static if you get warm in the summer. There is an extra layer of fabric inside. It's like two layers, but it's not a kind of lining that you would normally get that's kind of soft to stop the static and the heat. So unfortunately, this is not for me. I got this in a size four and this was a good fit on me, true to size. So the sizing for this one, I would say was uh, pretty bang on. Another issue that I had with this collection was the quality of some of the pieces, especially the zips. Now this dress, I didn't even manage to get a try on clip in because the zip was just an absolute nightmare. It got really, really stuck. Couldn't get it on and off properly. Just really, really disappointing. A lot of the zips and a lot of the dresses and also one of the pair of shorts 
just very, very cheap. Don't have a hook and eye at the top either, which I think is a big miss. But yeah, so I don't know what this dress would have looked like on because the zip is just a disaster and I never managed to get it on at all. I got this dress as well in the same print as the longer maxi one. And I got it in a size four and I would say it was a good fit everywhere, but just for me, it was too short. If I'd sized up to a size six, I think the length would have been better, but then it would have been too loose around the top. So again, this is another one that I had high hopes for and it just didn't work for me at all. This dress is another one where the fit was just all wrong. As you can see here, this band, obviously for where your boobs are gonna go, is absolutely tiny. It was finishing like here on me and just all wrong. And I really don't understand why they've designed it like this because this dress is gorgeous. This is one of the ones that I would have kept. It's a lovely kind of crinkled fabric, gorgeous loose sleeves, but obviously the fit is just all wrong at the top. And I got this one in a size six. I probably could have gone to a four for the rest of it, but I think if I'd wanted to keep this and I'd wanted it, my chest to be kind of covered properly, I would have had to go for like a 10 or a 12 again, which is, is just crazy. I do understand with collections, sometimes you have to size up a size or size down, especially if you want like a tighter or a more oversized fit, but the proportions of this are just, I really don't understand it at all. So I really hope they get this fixed for the next collection because I really would have liked to keep this dress. This kind of baby blue dress is one of the few pieces where your chest was actually covered properly. So the fit at the front was fine. I got this in a size four and it was true to size. It's nice and loose and floaty, but again, really don't like the fabric at all. It feels really cheap, almost like, I'm sure my grandma used to have a nighty that was kind of made of stuff like this. It's just not for me, unfortunately. I do like the style in the cut of this one, nice tie at the back, but this material, I just feel like I'm gonna get really, really hot and sweaty and it's just, it's not gonna work. This top is one of the pieces I think I might keep, haven't quite decided yet, but it's just a nice plain white top. Got embroidery detail at the front, nice kind of ruffle details, small button at the back. I got this in a size four and I would say it's true to size. It's quite a loose fit. So um, yeah, go true to size or potentially size down if you want it to be tighter. I think this would be quite nice tucked into like a pair of jeans or something like that. This top and shorts combo. Again, really not overly sure. I saw them styled together. So obviously bought them both thinking they'd be really nice together. The colors aren't quite the same. I don't know if you can see it on there, but the shorts are almost more of a washed out blue. And if I'm gonna wear two things of the same color, I like it to match exactly or be different enough that it doesn't look like I've tried to match and failed. So that's my first kind of thing I'm not overly happy about with this. The top itself is really, really cute. It was a really nice fit. I got this in a size six and it was a little bit big. So I definitely need the four in this style. I think it'd look really nice just with shorts or with some jeans or even like a nice maxi skirt for spring and summer. The shorts, I don't think did anything for my figure at all. They're kind of elasticated at the bottom and then kind of puff over, which is quite a nice detail. Feel strange for a minute, but you can get used to that. But I just feel like they went out so wide at the sides that it made me look like my hips were really big. So not for me. I got the shorts in a size four and they were true to size. They were a really, really good fit. Just not the sort of style that I would pick to wear. This white top is another one that just wasn't a great fit on me. I did like the sleeves. The elasticated detail was really cute. I got this in a size four and it still felt far too big for me. But again, the chest wasn't really big enough. So just the proportions all off again for me. The fabric of this one is quite nice though. So this is one of the pieces that I would have really have liked to have kept if it fitted properly. This dress is probably the worst offender when it came to the fit. The panel obviously meant to go over your boobs was absolutely tiny. And this was a size six I got this one in. And I think, again, I would have had to go up like 
three or four sizes just to get my boobs covered and then obviously the rest of the dress would have been huge on me and it's a shame because it's a really really pretty print it's got nice sheer sleeves kind of nice floaty mini skirt really really lovely design just this bit at the top just absolutely ruins it and obviously I could never actually wear it I picked up these white shorts in a size four and they're true to size they're a good fit but the zip again an absolute nightmare there isn't a hook and eye I don't think there was a hook and eye on anything with a zip and the zip is just so cheap and so flimsy and it just feels as if it's going to break any minute which is a real shame because they're just really nice plain white shorts if it wasn't for the zip issue i definitely would have kept them this cami top just wasn't for me either i feel really bad keep saying that but i just want to be honest i wouldn't want to come on here and say oh this was lovely if it really just didn't fit me i just would like to be honest with everything I say but I am feeling quite guilty just saying that I don't like anything really so far. I got this in a size 4 and it was a good kind of true true to size fit. It was just a bit too see-through for me. With tops like this I don't like to wear a bra. That's just my personal preference. I'm not a big fan of wearing a bra. I avoid them as much as I can and I couldn't have got away without a bra with this. It would have been a bit too see-through and again the material just isn't that great. It does have adjustable straps which I think is good and it's kind of elasticated at the back for a better fit but just the material for me is just not great. I got this top to wear over the white cami. The white cami was a size 4 and true to size. I got this in a size 6 and it is really really cute. It's one of the things I think I may potentially keep. I do wish I had got it in a 4. It is a little bit too big for my liking so I did tuck it into the white shorts which looked quite cute my only issue is it is kind of quite hard against your skin I would say if you've got like sensitive or delicate skin then this would maybe irritate you I think I could probably get used to it after a while so this is in my maybe list at the moment like I said I got this in a six and I wish I'd gone for a four I think then it would have been a better fit for me I got this dress in a size four and I think it is obviously meant to be an oversized big fit, but it was just too much for me. The sleeves are really nice, kind of big and floaty. Lots and lots of threads hanging off this though. I pull, I've already pulled off quite a lot. There was a lot of threads kind of all over it. But the waist, you can have it loose like a smock dress, or you can use the ties to pull it in. And I spent ages trying to pull the ties in and move all the material around and I still couldn't get it even close to being tight around my waist. So I, like I said, it's a size four and it was just too big for me around the waist if I wanted to wear it tight in. If you were looking for like a baggier, looser dress, then you could go true to size and I think this would be okay. But for me, especially because I'm quite short, I like to pull my waist in and try and make myself look slightly taller. And I just couldn't do that at all with this, unfortunately. This top is something I'm definitely keeping. Well, I think this is my one definite keep. It's just a really, really nice material. It's got kind of embroidery on it. I'm not sure if you can see. And from the front, it looks kind of relatively kind of plain, but at the back, there's just two ties. So it's open and you can see your back. I love, love, love kind of open back tops on like sunny days so I'm really really pleased with this one so glad that I've got something out of all of this that I do actually really love I got this in a size 6 and I think it's the perfect fit on me it's not too tight it's nice and loose so probably true to size or size up if you want it kind of baggier these black shorts are the same style as the blue ones with the kind of elasticated part here Again, I got a size four, they're a really good fit, true to size, but again, I just don't like how they make my hips sort of look wider, but I, they were really, really comfy. They'd be really good kind of throw on for holiday shorts, but it's just my personal preference that I don't like the kind of wide bit at the hips. I picked up this top in black, the same as the blue one, and I got this in a size four and it's a perfect fit. I wish I'd got the blue in a size four because I prefer the blue color. But I potentially might keep this. I'm not sure if I really need another black top, but this is in my maybe pile. It's nice and fitted, kind of nice and tight, nice and cropped. You could wear it with some like really high-waisted jeans or something like that. 
the final piece I got are these shorts that have got it's almost like a hard band around the hem to make them kind of stay out. They're really, really floaty. It gives them really, really nice movement. The top's kind of nice and ruffled. True to size, I got a size four. I do think these are really cute. Not convinced if I would wear them a lot. So I'm in two minds if I'm going to keep these. I would say these are probably in my maybe pile. I also picked up the belt from the collection, it's kind of just plain white belt with a buckle here. There's really nothing you can say about that. It's absolutely fine, but it was absolutely huge on me. I could, I'd have to chop half of it off and put lots more holes in. So that's the reason I'm going to have to send this back. And that is the end of that haul. Quite a disappointing one. I was so excited when it arrived i had really really high hopes but with the fit of a lot of the dresses and the tops the quality of some of the material the zips it's just really really been disappointing like i said i'm a huge fan of lorna lux and i feel really bad saying that i've not been happy with things but i would always want to be honest i wouldn't want to say buy this it's amazing and then you buy it and say well it, it's not like the zips rubbish or the fit doesn't fit me at all so I've tried to be really really honest and this is not going to stop me shopping within the style or from Lorna Lux's collections at all as soon as she has her next one out I will be buying it all again and just hoping that it is slightly better at that time if you've made it to the end thank you for watching I'd love to know in the comments if you have shopped within the style before particularly like the Lorna Lux collection what did you think of it how did you find the fit and the quality let me know and we can chat about it in the comments. If you enjoy fashion hauls, things like In The Style, Zara, H&M, things like that, then please subscribe to my channel.